I'm back with another video y'all so today is the beginning of a whole series so we gonna do this girl boss series and this is basically gonna be uh, my voice cracked but this is basically gonna be literally everything about business we're gonna do from like the beginning to the end um in my last video I told y'all I will be relaunching my lash business and today is the beginning of the process so I just want to say really quickly if you guys have any requests that you want me to do like Making a website, making your logo, getting sales, designing your cards, literally like packaging orders, anything. Leave it in the comments and I will do it. This video is basically going to be kind of like the beginning. So, um, yeah. So if you guys watched my last, was that my last? If you guys watched my last video, I was talking about how with my vendor that I used, um, I was just looking for a new one simply because the lady that I was working with had left the company and I had got assigned somebody new and I don't know, I just wanted a new styles, new, new everything. So I've been discussing with a new vendor, literally like I told you guys before, I'm going to try and put a screenshot, but, um, I have on how to, if you guys have questions on how to find a vendor, I'm not going to make a video on that because I already have one up. It will be in the description box. But go watch that video first if you need to kind of get the first step. Low key, that's the first step. But I have the app Alibaba. I feel like I say it wrong, but the app Alibaba on my phone. And let me see if I can show you guys. So down here is just like your messages. These are like my messages. Yeah, it's kind of blurry, but these are the messages, um, kind of, that I've been speaking with vendors about. So, also, another app, I told you guys this before, it's called WhatsApp. It's this one. And this basically lets you communicate with people overseas. So, basically, you're going to be communicating with your China sellers. And, um, something to take into note also is China, well, I don't know where you guys are, but where I am, I'm in the U.S., Eastern Standard Time, so... They're 12 hours ahead of me, so if it's 12 p.m., 12 p.m. might be a good time for me to message them, but it's 12 a.m. there, so they're going to be closed. So the best way for you guys to do this is honestly like one night if you can stay up really late and just message them, and that's how you'll get your fastest response. But I'm going to go back on the app and tell you guys some questions I ask because someone did ask me like, what do you say to your vendor? Okay, so here's a company I inquired about their products i let them know that i was interested in what they were selling and that if i could find out more information about them so she gives me literally basically she tells me what kind of lashes they sell 5d 3d 2d um how long delivery takes who they ship with the different millimeters their lashes are so the first most important question i like to ask is what is their moq if you guys don't know a minimum order quantity is what is your minimum order so let's say you're only trying to order 50 lashes and their minimum order quantity is 100 you're not going to go with that company because you're going to have to order 100 lashes minimum like your minimum has to be 100 and if you don't have the money for that or you, don't, you just don't want to do that you can't go with them because that's literally their minimum and they won't do it unless it's that much so yeah so you just kind of want to ask that ask about their quality ask about the company yada 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 and then if you decide that that's the company that you would like and also ask for their catalogs which is a literally like an ebook that shows you all the styles they have so if you're feeling the lashes from the pictures you're feeling everything that they're saying i would say ask about samples now let me talk about the samples because everyone had questions about that so some companies do free samples some companies don't do samples so what they'll do is if they don't if they give you free sample the way it is they're gonna charge you shipping so i know you guys are probably used to ordering hair from aliexpress or something like that and you get free shipping and it comes in like three days yeah so with this is not the case you have to pay for shipping so because it's international I try not to talk from a like US standpoint, but I am from the US so I can only talk from that standpoint. So I'm in the US and they're in China so they charge me about $25 to ship lashes. So let's say I order three, three lashes. So if the company gives out free samples, I'll pay $25, I might pay $27 because of taxes and stuff like that. They're, they're going to charge me. Now let's go forward to a company that doesn't offer free samples. I'm going to pay, let's say they charge me $2 per lash. 
I'm gonna pay six dollars that's for three samples and then I'm gonna pay twenty five dollars so you're looking at like thirty one thirty two thirty three because of taxes and stuff like that so um honestly if you want to play safe I would say for samples have about thirty five dollars for each vendor I know I recommend trying out multiple vendors but if you know everything is your pace so let's say someone has money like that to be testing out three different companies at once that's like a hundred dollars so yeah I would recommend them to do that but if you are like working on a budget girl do your research and look at the pictures and really like you can honestly tell the quality from pictures so be like hey I think this is the best looking vendor based off of their information I'm gonna order their samples and hey you might get lucky and that might just be your one company and you only invested thirty dollars and boom you have a vendor I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like I kind of, yeah. So yeah, so you pay your $25, and also with the $25 shipping, I want to say you're going to pay $25 for like, I guess, a sample, so for three lashes, but when you do bulk order or your wholesale order and you're ordering like 50 lashes or 100 lashes, I want you to know that shipping price is going to skyrocket. Like you're going to be paying, I think when I first started, I had ordered 150 lashes and I paid $90 in shipping. So yeah, I want you guys to know your shipping price is going to go up. So don't get mad because it goes off of weight. So that's how much it's going to cost. So now we're going to get into me. This part is going to be part of my relaunch. So this is kind of my first phase. Ordered a sample from a vendor. We'll see if this is the vendor for me. So you guys can kind of look out, see what I'm looking for. So y'all can kind of like do the same thing. Okay, so they gave me a little bubble nailer. This is cute. So, so far from my experience of sample orders, this is the best packaged one. Because usually they just come straight out of here. So once again, um, when I do my relaunch, I have planned that I want to sell five different styles of lashes, but I only ordered a sample of three just because um, I just feel like the quality is the quality. So I feel like if these three are fine, I should be good for the rest. Okay, so they gave me some cute packaging. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's like some cute glitter custom boxes. But what I will say so far is one of the boxes broke. So it's literally split. That's something to look out for. So, you know, the quality of their boxes might not be cheap. If I had ordered a 50 lashes and one of my boxes came messed up, you know, that would kind of be not sellable. I would have to buy it. So that's kind of no. But these are fine. Okay, so let's get into it. So I ordered a one pair of 25 mm's. I ordered one pair of 25 mm's and I ordered two regular 3D lashes. So let's get into the regular 3D's first. Boom. This is one of the styles. So you just want to like kind of inspect the lash. And if you have the pictures still, you kind of want to compare your pictures and be like, okay, does this look like the picture? Does it look as full? Then you want to feel the hairs. Okay, feels pretty good. Okay, so I done checked out one. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is... You're going to do the same thing with this one. Like, check it out. Feel the hairs. And then what I also do is, this might be a little weird, but I kind of just like... Not really roughly pull up the hairs, but kind of like just touch the hairs to see if they like are shedding. Which they are not. These look really good. These these will be more of a natural one. And then moving on to my favorites. These 25 mm's, y'all. I really, 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 really wanted to try some 5D lashes. 
yeah this box is not doing it for me it's actually won't open I don't know if you guys can see these I'm gonna do a close-up but here are the first pair as you guys can see it's kind of like thinner at the inner eye and then it gets a little bit thicker the second pair these are the 25 mm's really really full kind of like a spiky effect and I don't know if y'all can see how sparse they are like I just really really like these and then these pairs these are also kind of like natural to me more on the thin side also sparsy um it's harder to see because it's closed we're gonna be doing a live little demo I'm trying to decide which lashes I should put on. It's kind of nighttime, so I'm going to take them off. But I'm really feeling these 25 mm's. But. So I think we're going to try the 25 mm's on. So when testing out lashes, what I like to do is, one time I ordered from a vendor, and when I took the lash off of the container, the lash literally got straight, like, like a straight line. And I'm like, that's a little bit too much. It's really not, I like my lashes to have a natural curve. As you can see, when I took this off, it still has a natural curve to it. But I just want y'all to get into this fluff like very much something cut and measure so quick disclaimer this lash is on, but it's not on on because as y'all saw, something's wrong with my glue. I ran out basically, so all the glue that's in here is pretty much dried up. Tell me what y'all think about this 25mm lash. Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's cute? It's really, really long. Like, when I look up, like, it's definitely itching my eyebrow. But... Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to take that off. You order samples for a reason, so put them on, sample them out. So tomorrow, I'm going to have a full day. I'm going to be going to class and stuff. I'm going to put on one of these lashes, and I'm going to wear it all day. So one, I'm going to really see how it works with lash glue. Like I want to launch within the next two months, um, which definitely gives me enough time because I wear lashes all the time. But like, try and wear your lashes up to the max time that they told you, and see if you can even wear them even longer. Because I know with my last vendor, they said like 20 20 they said like 20 tries like 20 uses i got so much more like you just need to care for your lashes so when i mean care for your lashes like wash them like when i say do everything with this sample like do everything with this sample wear them rip the glue off gently of course with care um wash them when you're done washing them see how they look wear them in the rain wear them in the snow wear them in the fleet wear them in a hurricane wear them in a earthquake like you know just put these lashes to work because you want your customers to be like you know what this girl sells bomb lashes like i was in a damn hurricane with these lashes and these things did not fall apart these didn't rip off they didn't shed they didn't do anything you want to put these things through everything so no one can tell you anything about your product that you don't know so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, follow me on Instagram, it's going to be on the screen, y'all. Follow you, girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.